Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video, you know, this is an article Muslims they post all over in Yahoo, etc. They are trying to show you that's how the Prophet of Islam he knew those things. Those supposedly about the signs of judgment day, the sign of judgment day, the end of the world. Let us see what those signs Muhammad did talk about according to Muslims, not to me. Kamal will not longer be used as means of transport. First of all, camel never been used as mean of transport for the majority of the people around the world. Which mean, if this is a sign of Judgment Day, Judgment Day should happen thousands of years ago in Europe, because in Europe they don't use camel, sir. It sounds like you're a prophet he is talking about something not exist. Secondly, until now in Saudi Arabia, people are still using camel. Until now, there is many countries they still use camel. Not everybody can afford it to buy a car for a transportation. For transportation, who said nobody used them anymore? Who said that? So, if this is true, it means nobody will use them no more. But still, they are used. But anyway, in many countries they are not used and never been used. So this is goes for people who live in the desert. And I want the Muslims to show me where it says, by the way, because they make, you know, the Muslims, they make speeches, but they don't show you reference, they, sh they don't show you proofs. Where it says that camels will never be used as, as a, you know, for transport. And in here I want to ask a question. If, if this is what your prophet said, why your Quran, your God Allah, and the Quran is a word to go for the forever? Why your God in the Quran says the following? Guys, I will show you something very funny in here. You know, uh, uh, read with me. We just showed, you know, we saw them saying that uh, camels will not be no more the way of transportation. But now we are reading Quran, and the Quran assure us that the way of transportation is horses and the horses is needed until the judgment day read with me make ready for them although cast of armed forces of horses horses you see the horses Prepare those arms and horses to install terror in the heart of your enemy. Terror. And just to show you how Muslims play with their Quran translation, this just to show you how filthy they are. You will see, read with me the translation here. In the same, in the same page, in the same, this is, this is Quran complex, uh, complex. You know, in the same uh, 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 reference, we will move to different translation, and you will see how they lie. This is big tail translation. You will see they change all of those and make them horse. You know, instead of horses, they make a tank and a plane. And uh, what? The horses became tank. If your God Allah knows that those animals will never be used in the judgment day is going to be tank and plane why he is saying horses and we know the Quran is not only for yesterday the Quran is for every time according to Muslims that's what they say the order of Allah to fight the kuffar this is why Osama bin Laden he will kill you because it's an order in the Quran to fight forever until everybody convert to Islam but now the question is if if the verse in here is talking about horses prepare your horses as much as you can from horses to install terror in the heart of the believer I will change the translation and I will show you something this is Yusuf Ali look how the translation changed upside down make ready for you know your strength of utmost your power including the, the steads of war they, they, they did not mention horses do you know why because it's going to be so funny to say to people today prepare your horses for war the Quran doesn't fit for today 
if your God knew that in, in, in one day, not in Judgment Day, we have it now. We have it 100 years ago. We have cars. We have tanks. If your God, he knew that those horses would never be used again, why he's talking prepare your horses? And this is the order for the Muslim forever. Let us move to the most funny translation. Look at this and, and laugh with me. The word horse became tanks, planes, missiles. <laughs> you, see, you see, the Muslims, they are upgrading their Quran. <laughs> it was a horse, it was an arrow, and now it is tanks, planes, missiles. Why you are lying? Is this, a, you know, honestly, is that a translation? Do Muslims respect even their book? They don't respect anything. They don't respect themselves. Because if you respect yourself, you should translate what the word is there. Who allowed you to change the word horse to a tank? Is the horse is a tank? So if one day I walk by somebody and I see he is pushing a horse in the butt of the horse to fill him with gas, does that mean... What, what, what does... In, honestly, those people, they are mentally sick just to cover the shame of the Quran because this is will really prove that the Quran is written by someone who is ignorant he do not know in one day soon horses will never be used for war and arrow will not be used for, for war so they have to play with the translation so they can fool you prepare and you know imagine you a western you are reading this verse and you see in their Quran saying prepare tanks and planes <sighs> Ma Allahu Akbar I'm going to convert to Islam right now how Allah he knew that there is tanks and airplanes right if you read it in the front of you imagine this is written 1400 years ago and you see in the front of your eyes somebody writing down for you the Allah he is saying prepare your tanks and planes and missiles uh, and I'm glad he did not add laser you know huh Allah said that yes it's in the front of you brother don't you read Quran oh this is Quran yes this is Quran as you say I swear to Allah this is Quran this is how they fool Western and they make them some of them you know the, the foolish of them convert to this Islam you know but later they find out that this is a lie and they leave Islam according to study that 95 percent of people who convert to Islam they leave Islam after a year or two or three maximum so in here we discover how always Muslims lie when they translate we will continue in refuting the lies of this article but I don't think this video will be enough uh, but you know what I want to listen to this Make ready for them all thou canst of armed force and of horses tethered, that thereby ye may dismay the enemy of Allah, and your enemy, and others beside them whom ye know not. Allah knoweth them. Whatsoever. So we heard that it is horses. Did you hear it? It is horses. The verse say horses to install terror in the heart of the disbelievers. If we switch to any translation right away we will see that horses became tanks planes missiles so can we trust a Muslim saying you know anything about Islam to us don't ever trust Muslims this is my advice for everybody there are a bunch of liars because if your master is a liar you will, you have to be a liar like him because if you are not you will not follow him those people if they are honest you know like me if I see a trans like you know there is there is a new translation it's it's called a new version uh, 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 international version of the Bible translation I don't I don't like it it's it's full of mistakes we don't approve it I mean myself I, I will never I will never accept as, as as Bible because it's not I have to be honest there is mistakes and there in the translation we can't accept a translation like this you can make you can make you know books when you translate you are not God you are translating if the translation is accurate people should accept it if it's not people should refuse it now why Muslims 
making it in purpose because don't tell me this man he do not know the difference that the word horse is there you know it, this is not a mistake this is not a mistake horse is not a tank horse is not an airplane horse is not a missile as long the Quran never mentioned those things why you put it there well because they wanna fool you let us continue and follow with me please I will make another video Jesus is Lord, Islam is false